All right, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist, and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be doing a piece here for fun. Uh, my friend and artist, uh, Brian Level, uh, did this Wolverine sketch. He called it a sketch. I thought it was pretty finished, but... <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so I'm just going to be doing it today, just to have something to play around with and try different things. So I have took the liberty of flatting this already, just to save the time of you guys watching me flat, which is not particularly fun. If you don't know how to do this step, then go watch my flatting tutorial. I have uh, one on the channel just for this. So, all right, so I'm going to just dive right in here. And uh, I'm doing something I haven't done in a while, actually, which is I'm actually going to do this primarily in um, screen mode to start. Just kind of rough it in a little bit. And then I will um, come back on top of this with... Uh, this is in screen mode, but uh, come in with um, normal and sort of uh, clean this up a bit. And if you're not that familiar with my channel, you're trying to figure out why I don't have any selections and how I'm able to color without going inside the lines. Um, I've got the just the skin set to a layer on, or just the yellow here, set to a layer on top of the base colors, and the transparency is locked, this little uh, checkerboard symbol here. But uh, this is a, what I'm doing, I actually, and I'm not sure why I never thought to actually try this, but <laughs> I'm actually like uh, upset that I didn't figure this out. But um, part of the reason that I got away from using screen mode as much as I did was uh, you just don't have as much control over the, the final color with it to me. And so I would always be sort of disappointed in... Um, uh, in, in the final color, it wouldn't always do exactly what I wanted it to do. And, um, and I was watching uh, Jeremy, uh, 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 his name just left me, Jeremy Cowell on um, on uh, YouTube. And I was watching and he would do his, um, his rendering and screen, just kind of rough things in. And then would come on top of that with, um, uh, in normal mode to sort of, you know, clean it up a bit. So I'm like, why didn't I ever think of that? <laughs> so. So I'm going to try that today. But um, you'll notice I'm, I'm trying to keep the, the brightest parts of him toward the top to sort of draw attention. I'm not doing quite as much rendering underneath here. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, switch to just a normal brush. And this is just a, uh, let's see, let me try this. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, I've got my, uh, I call it my Dave Stewart brush. Uh, but it's a, um, it's a Kyle uh, Webster brush that uh, I'm just going to kind of smooth out um, some of the, is this painting? Yeah, there it is. Um, smooth out some of these um, areas and I can you know wipe some of this away and kind of clean it up and add shadows and uh, again to be in this is just a piece for fun um, so I'm just kind of roughing things in without thinking about it an awful lot at this stage and I can come back on top with more detail if I want But uh, this brush is uh, that I'm using, in case you're wondering, is one of uh, Kyle Webster's brushes, which uh, I use a lot. If you see me using a kind of brushy brush <laughs> that looks like natural media, it is probably Kyle Webster's. His brushes are pretty cool. And I do have, I have a link in the description to... Um, uh, 
to, to the website uh, from there. And, and that is an affiliate link. I, I do get a small percentage of the sale if you go through there, just full disclosure. But I don't, I don't do affiliate links for anything that I don't believe in strongly. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. And let's see, I like the way that looks. Um, I might come back later with um, some bounce lights or something, but for now I'm just going to warm this up a little bit, make it a little bit more, just add a little bit of red to it. Just kind of goofing around with the color balance a little bit. Alright. He would actually have some uh, cast shadows in here too. Um, oh, what I did then, I did a, this is a clipping mask. I don't use these a lot, but I'm playing around today, so why not? Um, make a new layer on top of what I'm working on, hold down Alt, I have to look at my keyboard, and you'll see that the little cursor changes to that little symbol there, and click in between, and, and everything that I do on this layer now, it's, it's still, it's locked down to this layer, um, but it doesn't, it's not on that layer, so it's not impacting, um, uh, it's what they call a, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, non-destructive there we go non-destructive method um, I do want to put some cast shadows in here so I'm gonna how do I want to do this there's a million ways I can do this I'm trying to experiment today with you guys and do something different so I'm gonna get just a kind of bluish color kind of the background color I'm gonna fill that whole layer with that color and set it to multiply and I want to create a mask on that layer too and just mask it all the way so that I've, now I've got a mask on my clipping mask layer and um, now I can go to the mask and paint with white and it will bring in that that shadow layer everywhere that I want it um, I'm not crazy about the uh, colors that's the other cool thing about doing it this way is you can play around I, I like that purple So, so now again, I'm just going to get a, uh, let me see, keep the same brush, but I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, and uh, let's see what this looks like. And I'm just going to start kind of getting in these shadows here. I normally work dark to, to, to light. Um, so, um, you know, it's just, for me, it's easier to um, control, um, and it just makes more sense to me, like, if you, you're adding light, typically, but, um, anyway, uh, in this case, I am um, going a different route here. Like I said, I said this was an experiment day. <laughs> So I'll probably try things that work and things that don't work, and we'll see how it goes. I haven't done like a really super rendered piece in a long time. Um, most of what I'm working on now is um, the rendering's pretty simple. Um, just it, it fits the line art, so I've I haven't been just rendering like crazy on everything, um, and. Um, so this will be a nice little um, experiment today. Uh, 
Uh, this brush I'm using is a, um, uh, whose is this? This is um, Keenan Lafferty. I couldn't think of his name. I'm having a bad time with names today. And again, the whole time I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not putting quite as much detail in his legs. It's just not as, quite as important of a focal point. Doesn't mean that's not important. It's just less important. The cool thing about this, I'm not really picking colors at all. Um, this is a method that. Um, it's kind of a hybrid, I guess you could say, of uh, Tamara Bond Villain's method that I was using the other day and and just a couple of other Photoshop tricks that I've learned along the way. All right, so let's see. If I merge this down, I can't merge that down. Let's do this instead. That's not really what I wanted to do there. So this is what I get for messing around with the techie stuff in Photoshop that I, <laughs> that I don't use all the time. We will learn together. So, um, all right, let's do this. Let me undo this clipping mask because there's probably an easier way to do what I'm about to do and someone can um, correct me on this. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Do that. Also, not what I want to do. Bear with me, people. That's what I wanted to do. I just got rid of all the shadows outside that clipping mask because. I want to use this same shadow for everything else, and I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure the best way to handle that. So we just got rid of it. All right, so I'm gonna get the blue, bluish color here, and again, just get a really saturated color for screen mode. It tends to work best, and. Go in here and start messing around. And if any of this is too bright or whatever, I feel like this is a little too bright, I can always go in and tone it down later. Again, I'm just kind of roughing this in right now. It's not exact. And now, again, I'm going to switch to a normal mode brush and start uh, cleaning this up a little bit. And I'm just, I don't really want this to look like it was done with a computer, <laughs> even though it was. So I'm sort of, uh, I'm dirtying up all of my smooth gradients, basically. I don't really want to. Because it, because what he did in the in the inks, it, it's very rough. Um, and this is honestly, this is actually just the file that I got from Facebook. So the um, the the resolution is not the greatest in the world, but I'm not really gonna do anything with this other than show you guys. So. And this is, like I said, kind of altogether too saturated, so once I'm done, I'm going to 
I'm gonna tone this down a bit. But let me get this done first, then we'll worry about that. You don't have to marry your color choices. Um, don't like that. All right, so let's see. I'll play around with the color balance a little bit here. It's not really doing what I want it to do, though. Desaturate it a little bit, maybe. Sorry again, I'm just kind of experimenting here. Um, overall, yeah, I just don't want all that white. It's a little too bright for my taste, so. This is a levels adjustment that kind of did what I wanted to do. And so now I'm just gonna do a couple of um, kind of what they call specular highlights, which are really just a couple of really bright points um, kind of strategically in certain places like his nose and his face because again I kind of want you to I want you to look at his face um, so that's that's a pretty bright color and uh, I just kind of put a couple of spots of light in here hands are also the other thing that's important so just a couple of couple of quick points there I still feel like he's a little too shiny That was a uh, vibrance uh, adjustment layer. All right, I'm just gonna merge that down, and then I can go to my shadows layer. All right, and this is already pretty dark, so you're not really gonna see much of this, but I'll just all the darkest spots here I'll brush up a little bit I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that or not but here just the um, these dark um, dark spots on or these dark little places on his costume on his uh, feet and just keep that simple all right and we've got his claws of course the claws I'm going to use a lasso for this. Uh, I'm going to keep these things looking really sharp.
basically just doing a, a pure white highlight on this too just to make it really stand out. And again, I'm being pretty rough here. Like I said, this piece is just for fun. I'm going to knock it out here in hopefully about, I don't know, less than an hour. <clears throat> and I've got his skin pretty dark, kind of brownish color. Um, a good For him, I'm just going to get a really saturated orange and again, going to go in screen mode. And uh, it's a little too orange. A little yellow, maybe. It's too yellow. Again, I'm experimenting. <laughs> I haven't used screen mode in a while, so I'm I'm uh, I'm rusty here. Again, I'm just going to rough this in first, kind of quickly, and then I'll come back and fix all this later. I feel like this coloring is very 90s, but <laughs> it's a 90s Wolverine, so I think it's fine. It fits. Actually, kind of like the way the roughs turned out on this. It's not, uh, it's not too bad. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here. Again, just trying to muddy this up a little bit, get rid of um, the smooth uh, gradient parts here. Tell I flatted this. There's some <laughs> there's some messy pixels in here. I'm out of practice. Alright, so this doesn't really look right. And again, back to my shadow layer here. Again, lowering the opacity on this a bit. I 
Again, this brush does a pretty good job of kind of dirtying things up a little bit. So, pretty close to calling this one done. Um, let me do something with this background. Um, uh, let's see. Again, I'm just sort of um, experimenting here. Not crazy about that. Or that. Just trying to create an interesting texture here. I still feel like it's distracting. the background a little bit uh, oh I didn't do his teeth let me come back to the background <laughs> I think I said this in other videos before but um, don't make teeth completely white <laughs> they almost never are um, and when they're too white, they're just a little too stark most of the time. I might put a little couple of white spots on these, but teeth are teeth and, and eyes actually tend to sort of take on the, the colors of what's around them. So um Yeah, that's cool. I don't like the background. All right, so I'm getting close to wanting to wrap this up. So I'm going to just drop a texture in the background here and play around with that. We'll see what that work, how that works. All right, let's put that on top. I'm just 
going to put the texture on top, take all the color out of it, and set the mode to, uh, what is that, overlay? And adjust this a bit. That actually plays with the color a little bit too, which is interesting. That I'm kind of cool with. Um, let's see, what else can we do with this? I'm going to create a black layer on top and set it to screen. And we're going to use that for um, what they consider to be special effects uh, in this case. And um, again, I'm just going to try a couple things here. I don't want this to... Um, I don't want this to look like he's totally glowing or anything, but just some a little bit of reflected light around um, around his uh, his head area like there's some just a little bit of humidity in the air and this is pretty subtle but it looks cool not every time but don't ever do it <laughs> This is actually, this part's a little, he's rendered it to where it's a little bit shinier, so I think it's fine that that blue is a little reflective. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm going to darken this red underneath here. Make sure it looks red. And I'm going to make another glare on top and set it to black and set the mode to color and it'll let me look at it in black and white. And you know my the lightest parts are pretty light that's what you want um, it could be even a little bit lighter um, when using the levels adjustment again to sort of brighten this up just a little bit This is another time for a reminder about picking colors. Um, the um, the darkest parts of this are still not that dark. Um, they're only you know maybe two thirds of the way down the color picker. There, I've kind of got a rule of thumb. That's about as far as I usually go. Um, but uh, I don't know. I feel this is a little washed out because of that levels adjustment so make another adjustment layer i'm going to bump the vibrance up that is 90s <laughs> that is super 90s a lot of saturation again try not to overdo it but Vibrance is, I found, a little better than saturation. Saturation gets crazy quickly. It's just too saturated. But if you've got one of the newer versions of Photoshop, Vibrance is, uh, works better. I don't know why that is. All right, one last thing. I'm going to make an exposure layer and turn the exposure down just a little bit to make everything dark or darker and then create a mask and get rid of the um, whoops I already had a mask there and get rid of the effect in the middle around the, um, the picture here why is that not cooperating I 
I swear sometimes my Photoshop just decides to do crazy stuff. Oh, it's set to screen. That's why I don't set it to screen. It won't work. There we go. Just a, just a very subtle kind of halo around it there. Kind of like a vignette uh, you would see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this, guys. Uh, if you like this video and want to learn more about coloring, uh, check my coloring course. There's a link below in the description. and Or you can subscribe to the channel. I do a ton of tutorials on here as well. So thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.